hey guys so today i'm going to be teaching you how to drive a manual car this video is dedicated to all the ladies who struggle with driving a manual car all right so the first thing is this is number one number two number three number four number five and this is reverse so the cars are different some reverse is there some reverse is here it just depends okay so this is a chevrolet captiva so this is how it looks like this diagram should be in your mind you must be able to change these gears <laughs> even if there is a catered here okay so let's go oh i'm going to demonstrate how to put them gears so we said number one is far on your left so there we go this is number one okay this is number one it's far you see you go to the last then number one then you come back this is number two okay then you come back this is number three then you come back this is number four here this is number five you can see then here last you push it to the last this is reverse okay we are back in neutral so the here is the neutral place this is neutral okay So, for you to start the car, I'm going to explain the gears before we do this. Because the person who taught me how to drive never said anything. He will just say, number one, number two, number three. Then I would wonder, why do I have to change the gears? Okay, so I'm going to explain to you. Number one, this is the starting gear. This is the, a heavy gear that is that has got power to, to make your... St car start to st okay to make your car to start moving i'm thinking in my language and translating to english so it's difficult <laughs> okay so number one is a powerful gear is the gear that makes your car to start off to start moving in a man the lake gear then number two so we're from number one you go to number two as you can see number two we usually use number two when we are turning okay so when you're on number three let's say you're driving come back okay let's say you are driving and you are in number three when you when you are turning you come back to number two okay then number three is a gear that i usually use when we are um, going up the hill you understand me so when let's say you are driving ooh, we are in number five traveling gear then then we see a mountain we come back to number four then if my car doesn't have power i come back to number three Woo. so in most cases if it's a small mountain you just go up but if the mountain is very very high sometimes you come back to number two you have to come back to number two so that your car gains more power if your car I, then that will be a very big mountain then you have to come back to number one i think i've explained this so number one and number two they are the gears that makes your car to move number three for climbing up mountains number five is the traveling gear when we are in n1 now we are going to limpopo we've changed all the gears with number five is the traveling gear the one that makes you go up to 220 okay so i'm going to do a demonstration and show you how to start a car okay so this is a accelerator b brake c clash so you can see this is a b c a b c accelerator brake and clash so you don't do a b c no it's coming from the side from your right side a b and c so the accelerator is the one that gives speed to the car vam, vam. this is a brake and this is a clash so your clash should be your friend you understand me because for you to brake the car i know if you're a man you've got different ways of driving but if you're a woman for you to stop the car you press your clash in then you press your brake then your car is gonna stop okay for you to put gears in you need to press the clutch in then you put number one okay i know my husband has got a different way of driving he doesn't create press the clutch he just goes to the brake but my driving school they told me that you press the clutch and the brake okay so that's why i'm that's how i'm gonna teach you and um okay you guys one thing that i want to say is never do this alone so we're gonna start the car. I want to start the car with you guys. The first thing that I'm gonna do, let me close the door. 
it's not going to be easy for me to be filming this whole situation here but i'll try by god <laughs> by god's grace okay so the first thing is you put your key on so when you're putting your key on make sure that your car is in neutral make sure that your car in is in neutral so that it doesn't jump because it has a thing of jumping so when you're starting the car make sure that your leg is on the brake so that your car does not move okay so we're gonna start the car right now i'm gonna start the car while my my leg is my right leg is on my brake okay so that my car doesn't jump okay now that i've started the car there's so much that is going on here you can see that my my fuel is somewhere there you can see that these are the rev counts and this is the speed so right now we are on zero okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the car in number one but before i do that i need to press my clutch right inside okay let me sit closer so my clutch i press it right inside ne? And make sure your handbrake is always on. Lift up your handbrake, okay? This is my handbrake. Then I'm gonna put the car in number one. There is number one. So after this, I put my handbrake down with my leg on my brake. If you lift up your brake, Okay, so um, I'm going to try to film the part two because it's not easy for me to be filming while I'm alone. But this is the basics. All you have to do is right now I park the car. It's supposed to be in. This is neutral. Okay. Okay.